Hello there, welcome to my channel. This is a quick video for my fellow Ford owners who are looking to upgrade their SYNC 3 system. Chances are you tried to upgrade it uh, through the settings and it didn't work. Uh, mine uh, said that it's up to date, but it says it's version 1.0 and I know that version 3.3 is out. Uh, one of the reasons why you may want to upgrade is trying to get Apple CarPlay. Um, on the 2017s and up, that will do for you with just a software update but on the 2016 cars um, you also need to change this usb hub if you're interested in learning how to do that and the information there's going to be a link in the description uh, on how to upgrade this usb hub as well but for now let me show you how to update your software uh, with just a plain old usb drive so first you want to go to owner.ford.com and create an account there. They're gonna ask you details about your car, including your VIN number. Uh, in my case, it's a 2016 Mustang. By the way, um, I've had some trouble accessing this website through Chrome. It was very painfully slow and it worked much better on Firefox. So if you have that issue as well, uh, make sure you are using Firefox. Uh, once you finish with that, uh, go to this link right here. I'm gonna leave it in the description. Once you're here, all you gotta do is click start download and that is going to start downloading a zip file that is 1.5 gigabytes it's pretty big you're probably gonna have to wait a couple minutes for it to finish downloading once it's finished downloading I have it right here uh, what you want to do is you want to right click it and click extract all and you can just extract it on your desktop or whatever it is um, that's also gonna take a little bit All right, that file is extracted. We got our zip right there and the unzipped version right there. Next thing you wanna do is you wanna get a flash drive. Um, you need at least two gigabytes free on there. Insert your flash drive into the computer. Um, and you wanna make sure that your flash drive is formatted um, correctly. So what you wanna do is you wanna right click your flash drive. You wanna hit format and make sure this is selected to XFAT and start your format. Hit okay. That's going to format real quick. Now what you wanna do is you wanna grab that, open that folder that you just extracted and you wanna highlight everything that's in there and you wanna drag it into your flash drive. Let that complete for a couple minutes and that's it. Once it's on your flash drive, you want to grab your flash drive and take it to the car and I'll show you what to do in the car. Uh, now I'm in the car, got my USB drive here. You want to insert your USB drive. You want to start your car. And now we wait. So after two minutes, um, you get a little prompt up here that says updating system software. Uh, Ford says that it could take up to 30 minutes. So um, I'm going to time how long it's going to take mine. Um, if you want, you could probably take your car for a spin, you know, to pass time or just sit around and wait. Okay, so that took about... 30 minutes, uh, maybe a little bit less before it does warn that it might take up to 30 minutes. So it's a little bit slow at first, uh, but okay, I definitely see things already looking different. Let's go to settings, uh, about sync, and there we go. Uh, we got version 3.0. There's a whole bunch of extra stuff here. Um, got more apps. Um, overall, it's at first it's a little bit slow. Um, I'm guessing that's because it was working hard for a while and kind of overheated. Okay, so that's about it. Um, we got the software updated. Uh, now I'm gonna be doing the upgrade to get Apple CarPlay. If you're interested in learning how to do that, the link in the description. Keep in mind this whole update process takes about 30 minutes, so be patient there. You might have to burn a little bit of gas while the car is running, so thanks a lot for it. Uh, but yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching, everyone. Peace.